Hi, this is Caitlin Hartman. I'm the IT Archie here at William Byrd High School. Today I'm going to go over Synergy and Parent View, which is basically our student information system and gradebook. Uh, you should have gotten a letter from us in the mail with an activation key and some very short instructions on how to log in. So once you log in, you should see uh, this current screen that we're looking at right now. You should see all the students that you have in the county, and under their name you will see attendance notes, which includes the date that that attendance activity occurred. And attendance activities are things like tardies or absences. Um, you will also see school events. Clicking on an attendance note takes you to the attendance tab. Clicking on the school events note is going to take you to the calendar tab. And we will look at both of those later on. Most students are also going to have their picture associated with their name. Uh, but if your student doesn't have a current yearbook picture or their new transfer, then you're going to see the image that we have on the screen today, which is the no photo on file. Uh, students' names are also listed across the top, and the, active, the student that you are actively looking at is going to be highlighted in yellow. So if you would like to switch between students, you can click on the names up at the top. You will also notice to the right that you have your name and a little good afternoon message and the date. You will also see district-wide announcements. These are going to be large things such as school closings and uh, holidays and stuff like that. So we're going to kind of go through all the tabs on the side, and but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update your account so that you can get notifications from us. So if you click on my account, you're going to have this page pop up. It should have your name, your address, and all your phone numbers. If any of this is incorrect, please make sure that you contact the school so that we can make necessary changes. Uh, now, at the bottom, you will see information for auto notifications. We are strongly suggesting that everybody check these boxes, at least the gradebook one. Um, the attendance box, if you check that, you're going to be notified around 6 p.m. in the evening if your student has any attendance notes for the day, such as an absence or tardy. Um, for the gradebook box, clicking on this, you will be sent an email on the selected day, and you can pick which day of the week it is, showing you a summary of your student's grades and their courses. You can also change this so that if you say, I only want you to send me an email on that day if my student makes below a certain percentage, and you can specify what that percentage is. So you can say, I only want you to send me that email on Sunday if my student has below a 70 in a class, and then it'll send you that. So we definitely want every single person to do the gradebook one, and then the attendance one is really good too. You can also enter extra emails if you want it sent to a different email than what we have on file. And make sure you hit the update account button. So if we go back to the home page, <clears throat> you will see that this is what you're going to log into. And you only have to ch update your account once. If you want to change the day that you want to receive the emails, you can go back and change it. But for the most part, this is the screen that you're going to be dealing with. And we're going to go down the side of these navigation tabs. So the first tab we have are the messages. The messages tab, um, just shows you any message sent from a teacher through Synergy. Uh, what happens is that when a teacher sends you a message through Synergy, it's going to send you an email, but then a, mess a copy of it is also going to be put in this tab. So if you want to go back and look at it later on, you can do that. Next is the calendar tab, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, this is going to give you kind of your student's gradebook in a calendar view. And you can change how you view this by day, week, or month in the up hand, upper hand uh, right corner of the screen. So you can do day, week, or month. And right now the default is set to month. Uh, it's going to show you all your assignments that were put in the gradebook on that day. Uh, each assignment is going to show you the teacher, the course, the name of the assignment, and the score on that assignment. And it has a little piece of paper icon right next to it. Uh, you will also see school-wide um, events or district events uh, with the key of um, a little schoolhouse. And those are going to be different, obviously, than the grade books. Um, clicking on an event is going to take you to a page that has more details, and clicking on an assignment will take you to that assignment page and give you more details on that assignment. The attendance tab on the left is going to bring you to your student's attendance and a breakdown of excused and unexcused absences and tardies. Uh, remember that you can get to this page by clicking on an attendance note from the main screen. So you can kind of use the legend up at the top to kind of figure out what kind of uh, attendance activity your student has been having. The class schedule is pretty straightforward as well. It's going to bring up your student schedule, which includes room number and your teacher's name. If your student is taking a semester course, you can toggle between the semesters using the buttons in the upper right hand corner right over here. So if you want to switch over to semester two, you can very easily switch over to semester two. The gradebook tab on the left brings up your student's current grades in each course. It shows you the period, the course title, room number, teacher, and grade. 
Once again, you can toggle between the different quarters using the buttons in the upper right hand corner. Um, this view shows you only the current grade in that class. To get a more detailed view with all the assignments, you're going to click on the grade you want to see, and this view will also show you the last date of the grading period, which can be pretty important when you are trying to get some makeup assignments done. Uh, remember that if you want to just toggle between the different students you have and see their grades, you can do that up at the top. So if you have one student and you want to switch over and see the grade book for another, you can click on that student's name. So we're going to click on a, a grade in a course to see the details. <clears throat> so here um, you will get a breakdown of all the assignments for that grading period. You, there is a little legend at the bottom that shows you grades that are not currently counting against that student for various reasons. Maybe it's not due yet and they don't want it to count against them, or maybe it's excused or for whatever reason it's just not counting against. So if you see this gray thing, then just know it's, it's not harming their grade. This view shows you the date of the assignment, the assignment name, the name of the, uh, the type of assignment, which is important if your teacher utilizes weighted grades, the score on that assignment, if that score is showing you a raw score or percentage, and then how many points that assignment is worth. Sometimes you're also going to see notes from a teacher about a particular assignment over here. For example, if your student retook a test and the current grade shows the average of the old grade and the new grade, then it would have a little note on the side. If you click a particular assignment, it's going to pull up details of that grade. So if we click on this assignment, then it's going to pull this up. It has pretty much the same information that you kind of saw in the previous screen, but it's kind of all spaced out. And it also shows you if it's a really long note, um, then it can kind of put that information in there and resources and stuff like that. The school information tab on the left. Uh, shows all the school information including the address, phone number, and the website in case you ever need to find that. It also lists the name of all the staff members in the school. If you click on any of the names, uh, especially if it has a little envelope next to it, what it's going to do is it's going to pop up an email that you can send to your teacher from whatever your computer or device's default email system is. So if you clicked on this, then it would pop up with an email to that specific teacher. And then student information. If you click on the student's image from the home page, it also takes you to this uh, tab, um, but clicking on the tab obviously takes you here as well. Uh, this is all the information we got from you at the beginning of the year on those emergency cards. So if anything is incorrect, then make sure that you let us know so that we can change it. This is how we communicate with you, and we need this to be accurate. It has your student name, their ID number, grade, address, emergency contact, homeroom teacher, all that stuff. So please make sure that this is correct and that it's accurate. <clears throat> now Synergy and Parent View really is the best way to stay up to date on your students progress in a course and you can look at this at any time that you want. But please remember that we are still using Blackboard for content delivery and that's the place you're going to look for lesson plans and other course materials. If you have any questions feel free to contact me at the school. Thank you.